There's a lot of he said, she said, conflicting descriptions of the same events that make the office seem more like a soap opera than the state's top law enforcement agency. In her harassment claim, Vanessa Stout says she saw former AG scheduler Jessica Udovich coming and going, arriving late at night and leaving early in the morning from this Dublin condo. Mark Dan shared with former Director of General Services Anthony Gutierrez and former Communications Director Leo Jennings. In his first interview with investigators, Dan admits she was there early in the mornings and she was there in the evenings, I can tell you that. When investigators asked Yudovich about staying the night, she refused to answer the question. But a week later, Dan went back to the investigators to tell them, although I was infrequently at the apartment, I was aware that she stayed overnight, and he wouldn't say why. There's also some confusion about whether or not Dan knew Cindy Stankowski, one of the women who filed harassment complaints. She was out with her boss, Gutierrez, in September when Dan called. She tells the investigators, I got on the phone, and Mark said, hey, how are you? How's the office treating you? And he invited her to the condo. But Dan says he had no idea who the woman on the phone was. He told investigators, in fact, when she arrived at the apartment, I didn't know who she was. I had no idea that she was an employee of our office. He says when he found out, he was taken aback and didn't think Gutierrez should have brought her over. Gutierrez and Jennings have both been fired, and Dan says he won't step down despite calls for his resignation and for a special prosecutor to take a look at possible criminal charges stemming from this internal investigation. I'm Emily Reamer, ABC6, on your side. 5.06 on this Monday morning. State Republicans are not holding back following the sexual harassment investigation. Party leaders say Attorney General Mark Dan should resign. Republican Chairman Kevin DeWine says Dan's behavior is an embarrassment to the state and just firing two of his friends doesn't go far enough. This guy uh, allowed an unethical, uh, immoral, and criminal behavior uh, and environment to, to fester under his watch and even participated in it. His only punishment being uh, a little bit embarrassed uh, really, isn't, really isn't good enough for, uh, for, the, uh, for the voters in the state. DeWine also says Dan's resignation is in the best interest of the taxpayers and the 1,400 employees working in the Attorney General's office.